Hey everybody, I'm Justice Dwight, and today's guest is local artist Sierra Smith. That's right, if you don't already know who that is, you're about to find out. Hey everybody, I am here with Sierra. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm tired. It's good to have you here. We've been trying to get Sierra on the show for a long time now, and she's finally here. Better late than never. So I did this like uh, two or three years ago, I think, around for Valentine's Day, and what inspired it was um, guys are basically, you know, all hard eyes over you know, their, their girl. So, and and in that aspect, you know, in Pokemon, uh, Brock is like eyes over, you know, uh, the police officer and the nurse. So. Oh, hand in hand, Valentine's Day edition. So it's actually my favorite piece that you've done. Like I just love the colors and the line work on all your pieces is always like impeccable. Nobody can touch it. It's just oh, well, stop. very well done. And so I really wanted to ask you, how does it feel being a woman of color in the art community? Like, what is that like? I don't know. Yeah, I, I never really thought about like being a woman of color in the art scene. Like, it just never occurred to me. It's not something that I think about. Like, because I just. I just do it. I don't sit there and compare myself to, um, you know, other artists, especially women or male or, you know, white, black, Puerto Rican, whatever your ethnicity is or gender. Like, never thought about that. I guess it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That's really great. So being an artist, how do you find a way to market yourself using the internet or like what is your way to like put yourself out there to people who are in love with art? So how I put myself out there is I, you know, use social media, especially like Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm not really big a fan of Facebook because I feel like that's more family involved and I don't really need my family or anybody of that nature in my business. Um, but yeah, uh, so Twitter and Instagram. Um, if I could personally delete my Twitter, I would because I feel like that's nothing that I care for. Um, as far as Instagram, like, you know, you take pictures of you work and, you know, people can see it that way. So. so what has your family's response been to you doing art full time? And how does that differ between friends and also like supporters that you just meet on Twitter and Instagram? Um, my family is really supportive, especially my dad. Um, my mom, she's, she's supportive, but she's more of like the... You need a nine to five and have that type of uh, consistent income coming in. And I mean, I get it. Like, you know, sometimes you're not going to have, you know, money coming in one week and then the next week you have a lot of money coming in. Um, it's just all about being, you know, patient and just waiting it out. Um, my friends, my friends are like super duper supportive. Like, there's no question to that. Like, every time I have an event, you know, I'm going to buy a print, this, that, and forth. Or I'm there, like, no matter what, and then my friends that can't make it, you know, they'll post my events for me as far as like on social media, so that way I can have clientele coming in, and you know, that within itself is support right there. So, um, and then as far as people that don't really know me, I feel like, I don't want to say they're more supportive than my family and friends, because I know deep down that they care about me, but low-key they kind of are more supportive. Um, and I think that's dope too, like, people don't know me, but yet they want to support me in any way that they can and, you know, help out. Yeah. So. I've learned that from creating. Some of the most support comes from people that you never thought you'd ever know, ever. Like, people you never thought of, they never thought of you, but they somehow find a connection with your work and you as a person too, and they want to support that. Yeah. So what advice would you give to any artists out there who are watching this video and they just aspire to be like you? What advice would you give them if they're trying to start their art career or their art journey as well? My advice would be, you know, to just be yourself and never, like, be someone that you're not. Because people like genuine people and they can tell when you're being yourself and people gravitate more towards that. Um, and trust your process. You know, everybody's journey is a lot different from one another's um, especially with whatever field that you're in or whatever you're doing um, yeah. what inspires you as an artist what inspires you to create these amazing pieces that you make um, a lot of you know things from the 90s uh, I like that nostalgic feeling that you get when you look at it um, and it just it brings back feelings and like emotions 
you know, especially when I paint it, people are always like, oh, I remember that show, or I remember what I was doing at this exact time when I was watching this, or I had these action figures, or, you know, little things like that, and I like being able to bring back that type of uh, feeling for people when they look at my work. Um, and the 90s was just a really dull time, like, I wish we could always live in it every day, but, you know, it's new <laughs> I love the 90s too, and I can tell, would you say that your personal style is influenced by the 90s too? Absolutely. Like, from my hair to my wardrobe, I mean, some days I'm like, Tom's way and like baggy tea and stuff like that, but half the time, yeah. You were inspired by 90s, everything. So, as far as the 90s goes, which show is your favorite? Um, I like Dragon Ball Z, uh, Johnny Bravo, Cat Dog. Is cat and dog or cat and dog? Cat dog. Oh yeah. The cat and the dog. Um, Invader Zim and um, a recent one. Not really from the 90s, but um, Adventure Time. Mm. What's your favorite color? What color do you feel like you use most in your art? Uh, my favorite color is yellow, but, but my, my favorite color to paint with is pinks. And that's like my least favorite color. Um, and I don't like painting with yellows, but it's my favorite color. I don't know how that works out, but yeah. Well, besides being a fabulous, glamorous artist like yourself, what do you like to do in your free time when you're not painting pictures and doing shows? I like to sleep. Oh. <laughs> and if I'm not sleeping, I'm eating. Oh, okay. Well, that brings us to my next question. Where do you like to go and get that fix when you are hungry and you just want something really good? recently found my new love for wings so any wing place really okay best wing spot in richmond virginia is wings with a z stop wait okay so bone in or boneless bone in oh you're that kind of girl huh yeah okay wait 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 drums or flats all flats <laughs> oops i almost knocked you out <laughs> flats everybody flats <laughs> If you eat drums, you can turn this video off. We don't want you watching it. So I actually have a surprise for you, and I don't know how you're gonna feel about it, but we I get don't, a surprise. Yes, we don't do surprises here, but I, I was gonna give you a baby, but the baby didn't show up. Damn, yeah. I love babies. I know. So for being a special guest here today on this show that does not have a name still, I am surprising you with open your eyes on three, three. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's a That's me. It's of a you. me. <laughs> I'm going to hang this right above my bed. So when I wake up every morning, I can see myself. It's a Virgo way of life, people. Get into it. It's the only way. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You deserve it. <laughs> Thank you for coming and being a part of our show, which still needs a name in the comments, people. Any day. Was that it? <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I'm sorry, can you stop this? I guess my advice would be, you know, just to be yourself and, you know, never fabricate. I guess my advice would be, oh my god, I laugh. Okay. So what is your favorite drink? And I'm forcing you to say Sprite because they actually represent this video and they're sponsoring us. So you have to say Sprite. Go on, tell them how much you love Sprite. I love Sprite so much. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take her serious. I'm sorry, cut. <laughs> so how do you get people to fuck with you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it.